thank you guys for stopping by welcome to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news i welcome you back once again thank you please i'd like to request that you subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories all right guys thank you so much i appreciate you all right uh the supreme court governor hope uzodima the made in abuja governor hope uzodima has done something that has got people talking this is what he has done that has got people talking that is making people to talk about him to either commend him a lot of people are actually commending him uh, for this step that he has taken so what do you think do you think is a good step well let's bring you the news all right uh, okorocha ihedioha others edged out as Uzodima abolishes payment of pensions to ex-governors speakers in Imo State. Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State has assented to a bill repealing the law that created pension allowances and gratuities for former governors, deputy governors, assembly speakers, and deputy speakers. Signing the bill into law in Oweri on Friday, the governor noted that the Eastwild law runs contrary to the 1999 constitution as amended, which stipulates that a pensioner must have worked for at least 10 years and must be up to 45 years of age. He regretted a situation where some of the beneficiaries of such payments also get a huge amount of money as salaries and allowances in other positions they occupied, such as serving as senators or members of the House of Representatives. Apart from the inconsistency of such a law to the provision of the ground norm, which is the Constitution of 1999 as amended. This has led for a very long time precedence that does not encourage diligence and prudence in service delivery, the governor said. However, he thanked the State House of Assembly for rising to the occasion and embracing totally the desire of the government to strengthen the internally generated revenue base of the state. He assured the people of the state of his commitment and desire to grow an economy that will stand the test of time. On his part, Speaker of the Imo State House of Assembly, Chi G. Collins, said that the House of Assembly presented two bills for the governor's assents. The bill on the Imo State University of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences and the bill on the repeal of pensions and gratuity. He said that the bill on pensions and gratuity has long been repealed in many states of the Federation when it was discovered to run contrary to the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. Present at the signing of the bill into law was the Deputy Governor, Professor Placid Njoku, the Deputy Speaker of the Assembly, Amara Nwanyawu, the Majority Leader, Uche Obuagu, and other members of the House, as well as some members of the state's expanded executive Council. All right, guys. Um, on this particular one, won't you rather uh, applaud uh, the Supreme Court Governor Hope Uzodima, the Governor of Imo State, on this particular step? Well, for me, I think uh, he deserves applause. Uh, applause on this particular uh, signing of this bill, because one would uh, imagine how much these guys are collecting as pension, haven't served as governor, deputy governor, whatever senators. Let's even concentrate on governors. How will they continue after leaving office? They spent four years, eight years, respectively, regardless of, uh, or de depending on who we're talking about. After spending eight years in power, then you leave, you go and contest for Senate, and you are collecting pension. 
it doesn't make it doesn't sound well it doesn't make sense and this money is run into billions into millions as it were you know they collect this money they collect uh, uh they, get, they get car gifts as it were uh or their cars are changed you know so, so many luxuries benefits that these guys collect at the expense of the masses so for me i think it is uh, a welcome development it is uh, uh kudos to the governor for taking uh the the courage to sign this bill into law so that um you know monies that come into the state can be used judiciously for the benefit of the whole uh citizens of the state not just a few who are already made who are already rich but they want to continue to collect money they want to continue to siphon money from the state at the expense of the people that's a sheer wickedness if you would ask me very very uh serious one at that so it's a good step that uh hope Zodima has taken and I applaud him personally for uh, signing that bill into law. And I also want to appeal, uh, sorry, applaud the uh, Speaker of the House of Assembly and all members of the House of Assembly for coming up with the bill and for taking even the Speaker, who is also who the bill is going to be affecting, who is the bill affects as well, and the Deputy Speaker. But they still went ahead, agreed, worked on the bill, presented it, you know, and it has been signed into law. Good. In some other countries, you know, parliament, uh, representatives or parliament members, they are not full staff. They have their other jobs. They see it as a privilege or as an opportunity to serve. If they leave, they go back to their jobs. It's not a full-time business, but it's only in Nigeria that politics is a full-time business, or in Africa, majorly, that politics is a full-time business. And it doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be. How can politics be a full business? They ask, oh, what, what is your occupation? What do you do? I'm a politician. Is that a job? It's not a job if you ask me. We need to get to that point in this country whereby politicians are people who, of integrity, who already have, you know, means of livelihood before venturing into politics. Look at what um, 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 the Minister of Transportation say, said the other day, um, or, or Rotimi Amechi, that he did not join politics to solve Nigerian problems, but he joined politics because of unemployment. Does it make sense? And he has been in politics ever since he left school and he's been feeding fat on government funds and government allowances and uh, uh, portfolios. What has he achieved for the people, not for himself? He has enriched himself and his family and his associates, you know, with government funds where they loot money and, you know, Engage in acts of corruption and all what have you. Go to other countries. Go to the UK. The fact that you are appointed into parliament or whatever does not mean that you do not. You definitely have a place you're working, you've been working, or you have a job, you have a business that you're managing, you're running before you came into that place. And once you leave, you go. And little wonder that our people do not resign. Their integrity does not matter. There is no scandal that would make any senator, house of rep, or governor or president resign in Nigeria. Except they are impeached. Does it make sense? No. They don't care because they want to die there. Because of how much they make. Look at how much a senator takes home. Look at how much, uh, you know, house of rep member takes home. Both at the federal level and at the state le level. Look at how much they take home. Why would they want to do little one that they kill themselves? They engage in all sorts of diabolical means to ensure that they get to the seat. And before you know it, they you know they, they kill themselves, they engage in all forms of acts of corruption. It's all about themselves. So basically, I applaud the governor of Imo State, Hopus Odima, for taking this huge step to sign that bill into law. So that those money that are supposed to be uh, that are being used to pay for pension and what have you would now be uh, channeled into uh, other various aspects of the state where development can be uh, seen a lot of stealing a lot of loopholes you know in our constitution in this country a lot of loopholes that these politicians you know explore to their own advantage and at the end of the day they'll come and tell you that the constitution this the constitution that so it is high time all states you know um houses of assembly you know take this same step 
No governor, senator, House of Representatives should be paid any pension or allowance. If you, even if you are there for one year, you don't deserve to be paid any pension. Paid pension for what? What have you done? So guys, it's what it is. Kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.